The Hopkinton Public Library Foundation hosted their 7th annual Touch a Truck and Food Truck Festival. As always, the event drew a great crowd and some fun experiences for the kids. You having fun today? Yeah. What's your favorite uh, truck you've seen so far today? Uh, I don't really know right now. <laughs> uh, another terrific day here at Touch Truck. You can't ask for any better than this, and it seems like there was a really good turnout today. It was. It was a great turnout today. We had 50 trucks. 13 different food vendors, about 12 sponsor booths with tons of activities. Um, a great turnout. We don't have a headcount yet, but we're really excited. Um, everyone was super happy to be here today. The weather was fantastic, and it was a good group. So, yeah, it was a great year. And uh, can you talk about uh, what the proceeds go to for this event? Sure. So, we're the Hopkinton Public Library Foundation, and we're raising money for the new library downtown. And we reached our million dollar goal when the library opened, which was fantastic, and now because this event is so successful, we're raising money for what comes next for the library. Um, you know, there's going to be new hours coming soon. Um, Technology is always changing and updating, so we want to have money for when our library needs us. We're there to help, and the town can benefit from it. All right, and um, this event just uh, always seems to get a, a good response and uh, some great community support. Yes, it definitely does. We have a lot of high school volunteers here today, um, mm -hmm. and a lot of local businesses that come out as sponsors, which is fantastic. And we're drawing from kind of the surrounding towns as well, which is great because we all know that we, you know, shop in different businesses and frequent different establishments. So it's nice to see. Christian, you don't want to be sitting in the back of this vehicle ever in life. Yeah, we, we brought up two today. We got our brand new pickup truck. Uh, we just got that. A week before our fishing derby, so it worked out well. I could take the trailer down with that truck. It's nice to be able to keep equipment, cones, and uh, barricades. That's very helpful. Uh, got my new SRO car, School Resource Officer car. Even got my initials on the door. The chief put that on there for me. Uh, but this is more of a friendlier car. There's no cage in it. Uh, so I transport a lot of students around. So it's a, uh, a better car for that kind of work. But, so these are two of our cars out of, I think we have about 14 cruises now between marked and unmarked cruises. So I'm not sure how to shut off the new light, uh, the, all the lights on the new truck, so I'll have to figure that out before I leave. So, But the kids are having a great time. There's a lot of trucks here today. We had great weather. So uh, perfect day for this event. I hope they continue uh, with this event. Get the kids out, fresh air. Get you know a little uh, family activity here in the Uh, so this is one of our newer ladder trucks that we got. We got it uh, used from another community, but we really uh, put a lot of work into it, and uh, it's really worked out good for us. And we're happy to come here to uh, support Touch a Truck and uh, the library fundraiser. We have a few uh, volunteers uh, doing Sparky the Dog, and uh, some people uh, handing out hats, and we're just trying to uh, get with the community. And uh, I see the kids are really enjoying it. You got a long line all day, it seems. Yeah, we've we've had the longest line I think all day long, for sure. All right, and uh, you got some equipment back here. Uh, can you just explain maybe some of the pieces of equipment you got back oh, here? Oh, sure. Yeah, this uh, you know uh, regular uh, fire department equipment. We have things for breaking stuff and things for uh, getting through things. So we have chainsaws, um, sledgehammers, axes, shovels, all kinds of rakes. Um, so that's some of the equipment that we have here. Yeah, I'm handing samples of all my products out. I'm trying to drum up some new customers on my Hopkinton, Ashland, Holliston route. 
and this event always works very well for me. Yeah. Uh, so you do home deliveries? Yes, yes, that's what that's what I do, strictly home deliveries. Excellent. If people yeah. want to know more, where can they find it? Can they find you online? Yeah, you find me online, yeah, yeah, Maple Farm Dairy, yep. Right. Yep, I'm on there. Excellent. Yeah, and you can call me or you can text me at 508-478-MILK. Uh, right now we're showing off two LMTVs. Uh, they're basically troop carriers. You can fit 12 uh, troops in the rear and three in the front to drive and uh, navigate. Uh, you can also lift the seats up in the rear and fill it back with uh, all sorts of different uh, equipment uh, or tow behind a trailer to bring equipment uh, to wherever the mission may need it. And I understand uh, you work on these as a mechanic. Yep, I'm a mechanic, so I, I work on these, fix up, fix these. Um, actually, I'm starting a full-time job for uh, being a mechanic for the National Guard, full-time. All right, and uh, the kids really seem to be enjoying this equipment here today. Yeah, they usually do. You know, kids always like to see the Army out there, and uh, they, don't, they don't get it, but they hear the stories, so they seem to really enjoy it. Bullets, bullets go in here with gunpowder. The gunpowder gets hot and fires off the bullet. Cool, huh? Yeah. 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 Yeah.